Pipe's uh, report, and therefore we'll know if the heat pump sized correctly. The pipe works sized correctly. To the heating circuit, what that means is the T that then starts the pipe around a pump at this size. Of the pipe 50 degree flow temperature, then this start. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, my job today is to go and see a Paulie Grant heat pump. A customer has come to us, um, it's been installed by another installer. I can't get a hold of them, unfortunately. And now we are going to have a look at it. So, it is a Grant heat pump, it's underperforming. Now, what we offer at Elite is a uh, bit of a heat pump MOT so it's very hard to sometimes say why the heat pump's not performing if we don't know the, the property so what we offer is a heat pump service a full heat loss uh, report and therefore we'll know if the heat pump sized correctly the pipe works sized correctly the radiators are sized correctly and then we get a good um, holistic view of if the heat should be performing as it should be or we can make a lot of changes and then along with that is uh, I'll have a look at the settings I'll have a look at the installation as a whole and make a report and make some recommendations so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to go and have a look at a granite heat pump see the full setup give it a good service do a full heat loss report and then see and give him a lot of recommendations hopefully of how it can be a lot lot better and then implement them so let's see how we get on okay so here i am at the property so we have got a grant twin fan 13 kilowatt heat pump outside the house is primarily built in 1970 150 uh, square meters um, we've got brick cavity wall uh, and breeze block so the u values are going to be about 0.46 something like that so not too bad of insulation at all. Without doing the heat loss, I'm gonna guess probably about a nine kilowatt heat loss of this property. So we're gonna do the heat loss and see what the actual um, figures are. So even before starting that heat loss, I think that the heat pump's slightly oversized. I do believe that Grant have got a 10 kilowatt heat pump and it does maintain 10 kilowatts of capacity down at minus two as well. So I've taken a look at the system behind us and here are some of the things that I've picked up on already uh, without doing any heat loss uh, or any other measurements at all. So started doing a bit of the service and uh, yeah, this is what I've found out so far. So we've got primary pipe work all the way from the start of the uh, loft all the way to the, the, the back of the loft uh, or width ways really. And it's about eight meters that way and then four or five meters down. So that's that's if the heat loss is what the original installer said it is of you know 12 11 12 kilowatts that's gonna be um, uh, quite an ask to do so i'll do some calculations on that and see if that's man enough um but more importantly and this is um really where the the problems lie with the system as i say the customer is um uh, not happy with the efficiency uh, it feels like it was struggling when it was down to minus temperatures. Um, yeah, and just um, and basically um, not happy with the overall performance of the system. So this is the major problem where it, it lies. One, as you can see behind me, I've stat, not great. Um, unfortunately, Grant on this uh, couple of year old model only did like an on off thermostat. So we'll either have to go to pure weather compensation, which we're gonna try uh, with this system as well, um, keeping the heat pump running low, slow and continuous, uh, not taking into consideration the uh, the thermostat, pure weather compensation, so it takes a look at the outside temperature and delivers a flow temperature inside, um, and they say whatever the heat uh, the building is losing in kilowatts an hour, hopefully we can replenish that at the same rate, and just dialing in that weather curve. So that's a major problem what we've, we've found so far. Primary pipe work, now, and, and also the major problem is when it comes off the three part at the back um, it goes straight down to 22 mil and the retain comes back up to the loft in 22 mil. What the industry needs to do is to start saying primary pipe work to the index T. It's, the, you know, it helped the installer basically. This means that that 28 mil pipe or whatever the primaries are designed to be and that heat loss does go 
uh, that uh, the capacity does go down the primaries, that hits that index T to the heating circuit. What that means is the T that then starts to branch off to the rest of the system, downstairs, upstairs, and sharing that load. And then obviously it's what the pipe work indicates, uh, you know, to each individual radiator as well. Is it big enough to each individual radiator? So, but you know, the main, main thing of getting the load and the capacity to the heating system in the first place is that primary pipe work not just to the three port but to the index t going to where it tees and then spreads throughout the house or five kilowatts going that way and five kilowatts going that way it's so important where these guys uh, the original solar has gone straight off the 20 to uh, of the three port and just reduce it straight down well the heat loss and the, the load of the building still below has still got everything to do below as what well. you know that's um it, it hadn't even started its uh, its journey yet so yeah, that, that's mega important. In terms of servicing, um, physically couldn't get into the basket filter at all. Uh, God knows uh, how they've serviced that over the years. Um, the vessel was flat. I've still got to pump up the white vessel behind me as well, the portable vessel. Um, there's not too much um, water um, debris in the, in the water and I can smell a bit of the antifreeze as well. So I'll be testing that with a refractometer. Uh, outside there wasn't an anti-freeze valve and I didn't expect that with the system being a couple of years old and being installed by Grant there. Uh, I don't know if they recommend them now, um, but they certainly didn't a few years ago. So I'll test it. I'm not too bothered about, obviously I don't want it to be mega, mega thick anyways because it, it impairs um, the specific heat capacity and, the, um, and how much energy we can get out of that water. So the thicker it is the worst for me um but some uh, obviously we need to protect that system somehow so yeah i would like five ten percent of that uh, antifreeze in there and by the look of it it's probably that that level anyways uh, if it's got nothing in i would just recommend an antifreeze valve um uh, antifreeze valve outside as well um so yeah obviously that's not going to help the um the uh, how the heating system delivers that load to the uh, system below so yeah, uh, on the face of it, we're gonna have a look at changing the settings so we can go on pure weather compensation. I'd recommend the 28 mil going to the index T um, and find out where that is. That might be in the landing below uh, and how that branches and how that looks when we get downstairs. Um, we're gonna set up the controller to pure weather compensation. And then, uh, yeah, give the heat pump a good service outside. Once that's all done, we'll do a heat, full heat loss survey see what the actual heat loss is, see if the, uh, the heat pump was oversized, and um, see what we can do about it. And along with the heat loss survey, we're gonna look at all the individual radiators and have they been sized to 45 degree flow, um, minimum, re uh, maximum really. Any more than that, um, we're, uh, it's not really that efficient. So yeah, oh, and plus the fact I've just, uh, with servicing, I've just got a bit of water on my shoe as well. So I've got one um, piss wet shoe. So yeah. All been well, they'll turn out to be a good job. All right, we'll see you outside. We're outside. So, ground heat pump, 13 kilowatt um, on the data badge. So looking at the overall installation, it's not too bad. Uh, there's plenty of airflow uh, down the back and down the front. As you can see, it's a meter away from the boundary. Uh, there's a, a solid obstruction away from any neighbouring windows, so it'll pass sound calculations, MTS sound calculations. Uh, in terms of the installation, I'll give it a good clean, uh, give it a good service, checking inside. Uh, there's no vessel inside this to uh, pump up or anything like that. I thought I was losing my marbles. There is actually a primary pump on this particular model, so there's no need for a pump inside just before the three part. So them two, uh, are just counteracting each other um, and making the heat pump probably turn on and off and cycle. Um, so obviously we will need this primary pump, as you can see, to go. And then we just need to turn that other one off or get rid of that, that'll be a recommendation because this will should be uh, and will be strong enough to go around a property this size um, and the, uh, overcome the resistance uh, of the furthest radiator. Um, so yeah, that's um, yeah. I thought I thought there was a primary pump on this, but there is. So we need to get rid of that. 
um, see how that's disconnected. That will be for you know um, plugging into uh, you know a secondary circuit or hydraulic separation or something like that where it needs a separate pump on the uh, on, on another side of it. But this will be man enough to go around the system and back, no interruptions, not confusing the heat pump as well. Other than that, it's quite clean inside. There's no refrigerant losses uh, or anything like that. And yeah, it's good to go. Not a bad insulation. It's got a, a condensate bung uh, in the uh, in the below, so that just runs to a drain. And as far as the insulation is concerned, it's, it's pretty standard. Uh, insulation could be a little bit better, um, but it is uh, sealed. It's not, there's no gaps in the back of it. Uh, where you can see copper uh, we like our primary pro but primary pro but that's um thick enough and good enough and then it goes into that embedenco trunking all the way up whether it goes through the wall uh, is another matter uh, but we'll give it a good clean we'll get this back together fire it back up and uh, look at the settings and see how we can improve them Okay, so I'm back. Right, so I've completed the heat pump MOT. That includes the heat loss survey, the heat pump service, and a overall review of the installation as a whole. I discovered that I wasn't too far off with the heat loss report, as you can see, hopefully picture on picture. It is an eight, uh, 9.85 kilowatt uh, heat loss with, so the design flow temperature of this system is 45 degrees. And as you can see throughout the property, the radiators are uh, slightly shy on that. So yeah, uh, if we go bump it up to 50 degree flow temperature, 50 degree flow temperature, then they start to uh, uh, nearly get there. And as I say, probably the overall house would be absolutely fine at 50, 50 degrees, but still that's not a very efficient uh, flow temperature. The, the original is installers designed to 45 um, and with the radiators that they put in or left or didn't change or anything like that, uh, they would have been shy of that flow temperature at uh, a design temperature of outside at minus two. So uh, along with the other factors that we've discussed before was the uh, hive thermostat, the uh, undersize of the pipe work throughout the property, uh, the undersized radiators, uh, or oh, the actual heat pump itself. Um, I do understand why they might have gone a little bit higher if they had a little bit of lack of confidence with their design and heat loss. It's really, really close to the borderline of that 10 kilowatt to the 13 kilowatt machine. So I don't blame them. Um, if it was me, I would have probably edged my bets on the 10. Um, but I don't, I understand why they might have done that. So yeah. Um, Many things we can improve on this system, uh, whether they want to up the radiator sizes or just put it to 50 degree flow, which is not fantastic, but uh, these are the facts. Um, and what I will be doing now is doing a full report, giving it to the customer and then uh, giving them a quotation to uh, um, repair or, 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 or upgrade, let's say. Um, but yeah, that's what we do at Elite Services Group. We can uh, offer that service. Uh, so if you've got a bit of a poly heat pump, and hopefully not, but if you have, we can help. Uh, and this is the approach that we do. So hopefully you enjoyed this and like and subscribe to our channel below and it all helps. So yeah, thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Cheers, guys.